All right, let's do an update for crypto.com. So uh, crypto.com has unfortunately broken bearish out of this bull flag. Uh, no point in seeing where the price target would have been because, you know, we are now below the uh, the place where we want to be. So if we do zoom out, uh, you can see that we are also below this descending trend line. Uh, this also kind of lined up nicely with the bull flag. And you can also see, you know, as we outlined in the previous video, we are below this orange box at 45.4, which lines up with the 618 down here. So uh, all in all, you know, I do believe that we are most likely going to be coming down. Uh, we estimated 20% to come down to the 200 day moving average. We've come down, you know, a couple percent, you know, we we came down about 5% or so, but you know, it does look like we've got more room to go. So I'll, I'll keep this here because this is kind of where we predicted that we were going to come down 20%. Uh, since then, a tiny, tiny bit of volume has stepped in, but yeah, really, really nothing. If we do zoom out, you can see that the, the volume is basically just non-existent for altcoins. You know, ever since the kind of all-time highs around here, um, but I think if we come to the total crypto market cap, it was a little bit earlier. It was the 9th of November, 10th of November, it topped out. But obviously, Crypto.com was on this massive rally because of the Matt Damon ads that they got. So, uh, unfortunately, we're now below the 618. So, you know, this is when Crypto.com started advertising, went all the way up here and crashed down. So, uh, we would have really wanted to keep above this 618, which we're now unfortunately below. So, you know, what can you do about it? Um, I did want this coin to obviously pump because I am a you know a somewhat big holder of this coin i don't necessarily hold any coins uh, on spot but i do hold this coin as i have a crypto.com visa card so you know uh, in the long term i do believe this coin will do extremely well you know in the future perhaps you know it might even rival binance i don't personally think so uh, but i do believe you know it could take maybe you know 40 50 percent of binance's market cap which would put it you know a, a very significant amount higher than it is now so uh you know long term i am very bullish on this coin but in the short term all signs are telling me that you know we've broken bearish out of this bull flag so we can kind of forget this now if we remove that uh or you know what we'll, we'll keep it just in case like best case scenario we do something like this but you know in my opinion i do believe we've broken below uh, well i do know that we've broken below we've come back back tested it back tested the 618 as well if we zoom in you can see this wick perfectly perfectly bar what was this you know a couple of pence not even that yeah it wasn't even a couple of pence it was like a fraction of a cent uh perfectly back tested the 618 618 obviously right here and you know we're now coming down so uh, in my opinion if we do open this candle here somewhere tomorrow i do believe that we're going to have a sharp drop you know I, i'm not saying that we're going to come down this fast i do believe we'll probably do something like this kind of chop around for the next couple of weeks maybe the next couple of months uh who knows really i mean the total crypto market cap is is bearish we've basically broken below the 618 which is over here at the 1.84 trillion you can see this is this is our macro fib that we really really wanted to stay above and unfortunately we've now broken below it so uh, if you're wondering why we're looking at the total crypto market cap when we're doing a cro video it is because uh bitcoin all of the altcoins they will follow the total crypto market cap if the total crypto market cap is pumping most likely all the coins in the market are going up as a rule of thumb if the total crypto market cap is going down obviously money is flowing out of crypto and at that point you know it is kind of bad for altcoins if we do look at the bitcoin dominance as well uh, obviously do bear in mind this is a cro video but we are looking at the bitcoin dominance because if the bitcoin dominance goes up that means that the total crypto market cap will have a higher percentage made up of Bitcoin, at which point that would mean that altcoins are dropping heavily against Bitcoin. So as long as we are above this 200 day moving average, something like this, you know, even if we do something like this, it takes a while. While we are below this 200 day moving average, I cannot be bullish on any altcoins in my opinion, which is a shame because, you know, I, I well, it's not really a shame because, I mean, I will get a cheaper price to accumulate this coin, which I am a fan of. If you are a fan of, you know, crypto.com and other altcoins, you should really be hoping that we do come down here so you can buy more. Uh, you know, everyone wants it to go to the moon tomorrow, but, you know, that's always wishful, wishful thinking. If you believe in a project long term, you should be hoping for dumps so you can accumulate at cheaper prices. So, you know, I may potentially accumulate some. Um, I would like to see at least, 
a strong uh, bounce from 31, which is which would actually qu line up quite nicely because we have the 1.618 here. Um, we have the bottom of this wick down here. Uh, we have the bottom of this trend line down here, which has multiple touch points when this was, you know, uptrending over here. So there is quite a lot of confluence down here at 31 cent. If we did take a measured move price tool, you can see that would be something like a 27% drop. So all in all, very likely keep an eye on the total crypto market cap. We have obviously broken below the 618, back tested it and broken down. So, you know, in the short term, while the total crypto market cap is going down, money is flowing out of crypto. At that same time, the Bitcoin dominance is going up, which means, you know, even Bitcoin is dumping, but altcoins are dumping a lot harder. I mean, if we just look at the, you know, the price change here, I'll show you what I mean. You can see Bitcoin is down 1.38% on the day. Uh, these are the Bitcoin shorts, so this is why it's uh, this is going up. Solana's down more than three percent. Solana against Bitcoin's down two percent. Uh, CRO is uh, apparently up, you know, one percent on the day. Uh, oh yeah, this is from the close, but obviously do bear in mind it had a huge dump yesterday. So, you know, while it's up one percent on the day, Bitcoin didn't dump eleven percent yesterday. So do bear that in mind. Ethereum's down, you know, more than four point three percent. Uh, Elon is doing slightly better than Bitcoin, only down 1%, but also do bear in mind we had a huge dump yesterday. ADA's down almost 2%, SLP 2%, uh, Link 3%, ICP 25 Matic uh, basically 4 FIDA 4%. Uh, this this FIDA chart is 5%, so yeah, I mean, I really don't want to go through all of the altcoins, uh, but you do see my point when the Bitcoin dominance does go up, it's bad for altcoins. So, you know, in the short term, I unfortunately am bearish on crypto.com. Uh, just to reiterate, obviously we were we were in this bull flag, broke below uh, the trend line that we wanted to be above, retested the 618, which we also broke below, and now you know unfortunately I am looking at lower price targets. So uh, the ultimate hopium target, uh, which I personally don't think will hold, will be back testing this previous low, which is another 10% drop. So even in the best case scenario, I do believe we're going to come down another 10%. Uh, if we did come to the 200 day, you could see this would be almost a 17% from where we are now. So yeah, uh, that's all I'm seeing for crypto.com right now. Uh, just finally, also keep an eye on the total crypto market cap. You know, I will be covering all these things, you know, day to day. So if you don't want to keep up with all of them, come check out my channel and I will, I'll tell you how I feel about the market. And you can obviously take that into consideration in your own trading plan. So yeah, keep an eye on the total crypto market cap while we're below the 618. I believe that CRO is going to get decimated, so I'm mainly holding Bitcoin and just sitting on the sidelines. So yeah, that's all I'm seeing for the CRO token. Once again, none of this is financial advice. It's just my opinion on the market, and you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace out.